As we've seen, Americans are fascinated with Sasha and Malia Obama. But can the president and first lady keep them from the hot glare of the spotlight? We're joined by Capricia Marshall, former social secretary in the Clinton White House, and actress Tatiana Ali, who was a child star on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Good morning Julie. Ta Tatiana, let me begin with you. What are the girls in for being front and center in the public eye? Uh, what are they in for? Um, well, I, being a, a child actress is no, <laughs> is, is a little bit far from being, <laughs> but, but from in living the in the White House. Yeah. But, um, you know, I think, I think the important thing for them and for any child is family and having your parents there to protect you. Um, and, and I think the same is true of them. They have amazing parents. Michelle and Barack Obama are, are magnificent. And anytime you see the girls, they're, they're so natural and so unaffected, and they're always holding their parents' hands. Uh, that's why they're so confident and beautiful. I guess the question is, Capricia, let me turn to you. Can they maintain that? I mean, you were on the inside during the Clinton years. What are these girls in for? Well, I have to say that they're in for some magical times. The White House is really extraordinary. As big and daunting as it can be is as wonderful as it can be. And there's so much in store for them over the next few years. But yes, there is the glare of the public eye and people who really want to find out more about them. And I think Tatiana's right. They've got their parents. And it will be Mrs. Obama and President Obama's rules that will reign over the staff making sure that they are kept in a safe uh, cocoon. Capricia, when you were in the White House, how did you see the White House staff treat Chelsea Clinton? I mean, is all, is all normalcy out the window except when it comes to dealing with mom and dad? Oh, no, absolutely not. Uh, Mrs. Obama will lay down the rules, I am sure, and make sure that they are enforced appropriately. So making the bed and cleaning up the room will all be understood by the White House staff. But they are in store for a lovely group of people. These people that work at the White House are, are really in love with the White House and with the first family that they are serving. They will be taken care of uh, very tenderly by the entire White House staff. Um, but I have to say that mom and dad, whatever they say, will be implemented. Tatiana, let me turn back to you. Advice mm -hmm. for these little girls, is there any way to prepare for all this publicity? I think the, the advice that I would give is to see, you know, people talk about normal lives and not normal lives. They're, they're, and they're, there's no way to really gauge what's normal or what's normal. You live the life that you live. And so see, I would encourage them to see this experience as just an extraordinary blessing and a gift. They were born into an incredible family that's given their life to service, to serving others. And whether they take that path or not, be yourself. Be unafraid to be yourself. Six and stones may break my bones. <laughs> Names will never hurt me, <laughs> especially young women in the spotlight. I think it's also up to the American people in our society to not. Sometimes we tend to exalt young women mm -hmm. and then vilify them. Mm -hmm. And it'll be, I think, the onus is on us to treat them well and to treat them with respect and with love. Tatiana Ali, Capricia Marshall, thank you both. Thank you.